This time on Rat and Cat, the top survival stories from the last 30 days. <coughs> Welcome to Rat and Cat, where we search, survive, and explore. I'm Nakia. It's time to take a look at the top survival stories from April 2020. First, let's catch up with a story that surfaced from March 29. In Lake Cowichan on Vancouver Island, Chelsea Lockhart was doing afternoon chores when she heard her son Zachary scuffling with something outside their home. She rushed to the backyard and found her seven-year-old son fighting for his life with the cougar attached to his right arm. The woman jumped on the juvenile cougar and pried its mouth open and it eventually fled. A neighbor snapped a photo of one of the two cougars that were later euthanized after the attack. The boy survived the attack with only a gash on his head and a few cuts on his neck and arms. A young man in Perpignan, Italy decided to break quarantine and try to cross the border into Spain in search of cheap cigarettes. It didn't end well. The man initially set off from the city of Perpignan by car, but found his way blocked by police checkpoints. So he attempted to cross the border at Les Jancures on foot. Unfortunately, he got lost in the mountain slopes fell into a stream and some brambles and finally called the French Mountain Rescue Service for help. A rescuer said the man was exhausted and shivering when he was picked up by a rescue helicopter. He received a 135 euro ticket. On April 7 in Cambodia in the mountains above Siam Pang, two men were picking fruit when a female bear attacked them, causing severe injuries. Both men are farmers aged 22 and 29 and live in a nearby village. It's thought the sow might have been protecting her cubs. After attacking the men, the bear disappeared into the jungle, never to be seen again. Then two days later, across the world in Dupuyer, Montana, a man was hiking when a sow bear with cubs attacked, biting him on the thigh. The man had a pistol and shot the bear, injuring it. The bear fled into an area filled with willows near a creek. The man walked back to his house and phoned for help. He then met emergency services in the road and route to the hospital. The search for the bear was suspended for that night, leaving local residents with a warning of a wounded bear on the loose. The search resumed in the morning with a helicopter and ground crews. The injured sow was eventually found and euthanized by fish, wildlife, and parks personnel. Fortunately, FWP later found the bear's cubs and rescued them. Cute little guys. And in Colorado, two men got lost in some slick rock canyons. After two days, the men tried to descend into Mee Canyon to find water. One of the men stumbled and fell down a 60 to 80 foot cliff with his dogs. The man died from blunt force trauma, but his two injured dogs stuck with him for two days. While the surviving man tried to get help, still lost, the survivor eventually built a fire on the fourth day to signal for help. It happened to be the first day the Mee Canyon Trail was open, and the first group of hikers in saw the smoke and called on their cell phone for help. I go into more detail about this story in a separate video. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. In Florida, on the Tamiami Trail, east of Port of the Islands and west of the Everglades, a tow truck driver decided to go for a swim in a canal and was bitten by an alligator on the arm and neck. No word on how he got away from the gator, but he did. Greater Naples Fire and Rescue responded and the man was airlifted to a local hospital. So what can we learn from these stories? One, never mess with a mama. Two, be aware that slick rock formations often start with a gentle slope but end with a sheer cliff or drop off. Stay back from cliffs, far enough away that if you tripped or stumbled, you wouldn't go over. Three, avoid mama bears and always carry bear spray and or a firearm when you're in bear territory. Four, when it comes to swimming in Florida, don't. Five, when you're trying to sneak into another country to buy cheap cigarettes, make sure to take a map, compass, GPS, and an extra change of clothes in case you fall in a creek. If you like this video, I'll put up a link at the end of this one to other survival stories, as well as a link to the survival story of the two hikers where only one came back. And I'd like to hear from you in the comments below, of course. Have you ever been attacked by a wild animal? Which one of these stories did you find most interesting or valuable? Until next time, I'm Nakia and this is Rat and Cat. Get out there, be safe, 